let us now take another look at the standard deviation. What we just saw, calculated according to these equations, is the standard deviation of the volume pipetted with the pipette. And importantly, we can also say that it is the standard deviation of the individual pipetting result. On the other hand, now, if we calculate the mean value, the mean value from the parallel pipetting measurements, then this mean value also will be a random quantity. It will also have a standard deviation. And as we see later on, very often this standard deviation of the mean will be very interesting for us. How do we get it? On one hand, we could make a large number of pipetting series. Suppose we do 15 pipetting operations, we calculate the mean and the standard deviation. We then do another 15 pipettings, another, another, another 15 pipetting operations, so that we finally get a number of mean values. And then we can simply calculate again the standard deviation from all those mean values. This is fully valid and fully doable. Unfortunately, it involves a very large number of measurements that usually is not practical in chemistry. Therefore, most of the time people use a very much simpler approach to find the standard deviation of the mean. And it turns out that The standard deviation of the mean can be found from the standard deviation of the individual result simply by dividing by square root of n. Very easy. So we make just one series large enough, say 10 to 15 measurements, Find the standard deviation, divide it by the square root of n, and here we have the standard deviation of the mean. It turns out now that we have two different standard deviations for the same series of measurements. And it is very reasonable to ask, when do we use the standard deviation of the individual result? And when do we use the standard deviation of the mean? The general rule is the following. We use the one which, e, which corresponds to the actual value that we use. So if we use for our purpose the individual value from this series, we use standard deviation of the individual value. On the other hand, if we use for our purpose the mean value, then we also use the standard deviation of the mean value. 